Yo guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to the shop and welcome back to another project. Today we're going to be doing the solvent dispenser. Uh, thanks to you guys, we figured out exactly what it is. I truly do appreciate it. I say without any further ado, we jump right into it. Let's go. Alrighty guys, well let's get a look at this solvent dispenser. Uh, it's in relatively bad shape. Paint's all coming off it. It's a lot of oxidization. I'm sure that's from the chemicals. The screen is actually in good shape. Uh, but yeah, this thing's got definitely got some issues. So uh, I say we start pulling this thing apart and get cleaning on it. Grab me a pair of pump pliers here. Try and break this loose. I think I got it. Yep. Oh. oh, got it. Well, that came apart. Cool. There's a lot of oxidization in there. I'm sure most of that's from the chemical and all. We're going to do what we can to try and get in there and clean that up the best we can. Of course, strip the paint off. Try and get it down to bare metal and we'll give it a fresh paint job. Get these decals off there. All sorts of stuff. And of course, we'll clean all this up. So let me grab some tools and we will uh, start dismantling this thing a little bit better. Hang on. Alright. know what this is going to do. But it is brass. Not quite sure how this comes off. To be honest with you, I'm not sure if any of this comes off. I mean, it would have to, wouldn't it? I wonder if there's like a pin or something. Alright, so the bottom unscrews, that plunger should slide straight out, yep, spring, primer tube, this doesn't look like it comes apart though, I swear it looks like it's brazed down bottom, looks like it's brazed right around here. and I can't see through the screen. So, I think we're just gonna clean it up like that. This piece won't come apart any more than what that is. That's okay, I can work around that too. Bottom cap, that'll clean up. That'll clean up. I do have a little bit of in there real close. I do have a couple of significant gouges on there from the channel locks. I'll have to sand those down so it still slides inside the cylinder nice and easy. I'm sure it still will because there's like a little bit of an air gap around it but I don't want it to scratch the brass all up so. All right. 
So let's show you the parts breakdown here. Again, I I don't know why, but you can't get this this stem off here. I'm not sure why. So there we go. Get you in frame. There's all the parts broke down. We're gonna get this cleaned up. Well, this is definitely that. Excuse me. This is definitely going to need more cleaning. But it's good to know that this is a brass screen, and uh, yeah, it's starting to come along. That's pretty cool. This thing's going to clean up nice, I think. All right, guys. Well, we're going to try and clean this up a little bit better with uh, Dremel with a little Scotch spray pad on there. We got this all polished up, looking nice. Quite happy with it. So we're gonna start putting this back together, I think. Then we can work on the bottom part. Uh, let's see, how's this go? Oh, like this. So then it would go, this piece. Well, after I got all those teeth marks off there, now I'm going to have to put them right back on. Alright. There's that. Put the cap back on the bottom of it. Perfecto. All right, well this section here is done. All cleaned up, looking nice and fresh. I'm quite happy with that, actually. I really am. It's not over the top, which I didn't want. I didn't want to get it, um, you know, super mirror finish, anything like that. I wanted it to still retain some of its awesomeness, you know? So that's quite cool. I'm quite happy with that. Alrighty. Well, we are going to start on this. Probably what I'm going to try and do is get this sticker off of both sides and then uh, throw a nice layer of paint stripper on there 
and we'll see if we can't get all this funky stuff off here. So I'm trying to do this without um, scratching it all up, but I don't think that's going to work. I think regardless of what I do, I'm going to wind up scratching it up. stickers on there isn't it? I don't know if that's a factory sticker or not ah screw it let's just put some paint stripper on there and see and see what the hell happens Yeah, we ain't even going to mess around with this, man. We're just going to put this stuff on here and hope for the best. What do y'all think? I hope it takes the paint off. One of these days, it's in my bucket list is to get a sand blaster. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but the hell let's see what happens we'll give it about an hour well look at that real quick bubbly oh yeah that's the good stuff in life right there guys look at that Who's scraping what off of this? Not me. That's kind of cool, actually. I've never had paint come off that good. This must have been some real crap paint. <laughs> uh, there's no paint up here. That's all just galvanized steel. I'll have to go back over this once the sticker's off, because like the sticker protected that a little bit. A little blob on there. Spin this around again. Well, if you ever need to get stickers off of something and you don't mind ruining and everything and always put paint stripper on there that came off pretty good quite pleased with that get a little more stripper on there stripper actually did a really good job there is some little spots on there where there's some paint left uh, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of 150 try and knock them down get them off there then we're gonna prime this and get it ready for paint so After all that cleaning, look at what I found. I hope to God that that shows up. It's a damn eagle. That's my favorite. Oh, we gotta do this thing up right.
I'm excited about this. It's going to be a good color. Zoom you right in there to it. Alrighty guys, well we are all done with the solution dispenser. It came out pretty good, nice and shiny and everything's looking brand new and fresh on there. That's it. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.